Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Vintage Electronics channel. I know this isn't vintage, but I figured there are other people out in the world who have a daughter like mine who cracks her notebook screens all the time. So I figured we'd do just a quick and easy tutorial to show you how easy it is to replace this screen. It should only take a couple of minutes. Stay with us. All right, well, she's also a very colorful person. First thing we want to do is remove the battery on the laptop, and that's done just by pushing the little tab there, removing the battery. You don't want any, any power applied to this while we're doing the fix. Now it's also important, just hit that power button, make sure that uh, any residual power is out of there. Now the next thing we're going to do, so this is really, really easy, we have to remove this bezel around the screen. Now you can get your either a fingernail underneath here or on the outside to pop it loose and just run run your fingers around there just carefully removing that bezel and it should with the screen pop back that should come out of there very very easily all right now we have looks like four screws holding that screen in place so we'll get those screws out of here get those screws out alright once those screws are removed we can carefully pull the screen out and lay it down on top of the keyboard and we'll see this little piece of tape here we'll pull this back and then there's a little clip right down here that lifts up in order to remove that ribbon cable from the back of the screen. And we'll get that old screen out of there. All right, now to protect the new screen against scratches, I'm going to use a piece of the packing material that came with it. But we'll set that new screen on there and we'll hook this cable in. It's just the opposite of how we pulled it out. So make sure that's in there nice and tight. Clip down. The retainer. Alright, now it's just a matter of making sure that this wire is back in the channel and then putting the screen back into position and installing the screws. All right, the last step will be reinstalling the screen bezel. First step is to get it down onto the hinges. And then it's just a matter of working your way around the outside and getting it snapped into place. All right, we've got everything snapped back together, the battery back in it, and the power adapter plugged in. And it looks like we got the screen fixed. That was pretty easy and it only took a couple of minutes. We appreciate you watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Like the video, and next time we'll get back to some more vintage electronics. We'll see you next time.